entertainment of any sort was pretty hard to find in the Genesee country during most of the 1800s. So when the circus came to town, it was big news. The Zoological Association's Menagerie and Aviary will arrive in the city of Rochester on Friday. The rhinoceros will be drawn by eight splendid gray horses. The elephant Siam will appear at the head of the train. Six musicians will be seated in a splendid saddle upon the back of Siam as the grand procession passes through the city. There will also be exhibited a collection of paintings and serpents. That account is from the Rochester Daily Democrat in 1835. In those days, people were just too busy to spend their meager earnings on shows. Besides, many folks were convinced that frivolous entertainments were sinful and thus to be avoided. Plus, there weren't enough people living in the region to make the entertainment business profitable anyway. By the middle of the century, though, things began to change. The population grew, and people learned to appreciate music beyond that of the church organ or a jig performed at the local tavern. Theatrical troops and traveling carnivals became common sights on the roads. The world-famous Swedish opera singer Jenny Lind visited Rochester in 1851, and Phineas T. Barnum's circus came to town in 1857. By the time of the Civil War, you could even see performances of Shakespeare in Rochester.